The official name or term for smolt wheel is, is rotary screw trap. It's a, it's a fairly easy method to catch and enumerate fish, and particularly smolt is what we're interested in. A number of uh, biological measurements are taken. We take a length, we take a weight, we'll take a few scale samples, and we're also marking the fish with uh, what we call a pit tag, passive integrated transponder. One of the critical components of the Wild Salmon Watershed Program is to collect baseline data. Uh, as part of this, you need to know how many fish you have in the system. So why we have the smolt wheels in is to get an idea how many smolt are leaving the river system. And by putting these pit tags in the smolt, we'll be able to measure essentially the survival at sea and how many adults are coming back to the river system too. So it's kind of a, a double whammy. ASF designed the Wild Salmon Watersheds program to establish a network of healthy, resilient watersheds throughout the North American range of Atlantic salmon. A really important component of the Wild Salmon Watersheds program is to work with local partners, local watershed organizations, and First Nations organizations to monitor the salmon populations. One of the ways that we do that is to measure how the river produces smolt, the total smolt output of the river. This year, working with our local partners, we set up a smolt wheel on the Terranova River in Newfoundland and on the Nipisiguit River in northern New Brunswick. The ASF required a number of smolt wheels that we um, distributed primarily throughout the province and in Brunswick. And uh, over time, many of those wheels were loaned to the Fisheries and Oceans. So over the last six months, when, when we uh, received them back from Fisheries and Oceans, there were some, uh, some repairs and modifications that needed to take place. And uh, so we took them to a fabrication shop and primarily just uh, checked them over and making sure all the parts were there. And we also added a few uh, safety features. It's really just um, nuts and bolts attaching, uh, just aligning nuts and bolts and putting it into place, putting the large drum uh, in place as well and, and hooking the cables and, uh, and then live box as well too. So for putting the trap in the place, once you have your airline cable across the river, we have uh, buoys, just reflectors and, and things like that. What happens is the water will do the rest of the work for you and, and uh, move the wheel out into position. It's as simple as that. Another step involved in the assessment this year is we're going to be transporting them about a kilometer upstream of the wheel. Any fish that we have coming back into the wheel with a pit tag, basically what I'm saying is those that are marked versus unmarked, we can come up with an estimate of how many smolts are leaving the river and also gives us an idea on the efficiency of the wheel. Over the long term, it's really important to have a time series of the smolt assessment, the smolt population, and also the adult return. And having that, having that long-term monitoring helps us be able to pick up changes. It helps us be able to pinpoint where problems might be happening. It also helps us measure the success of some of the conservation activities that we carry out. The people are, are what will bring the magic to this program, their dedication and their enthusiasm to help Atlantic salmon for the long term in a, in a meaningful way. And that's why people are excited about the program.